What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you my true meaning of war looting results for the past week. But before we get into that, let's first talk about some of the new info dropped yesterday via Game Informer's latest article. And if you guys do enjoy the video at the end, if you could leave a like, that would be absolutely epic. But from this article, first up, we have Iron Engrams. Now, iron engrams are something available from Foul Winter's Peak via Lord Saladin. This will most likely cost you legendary marks. So, what's the point of these new iron engrams you are wondering? Well, iron engrams reward you year one and the old school iron banner armors. Now, they don't confirm about them being capable of max light, but I'm pretty certain that's the whole point here. These iron engrams will drop that old iron banner gear but will be at the current light levels. That's got to be the point of these iron engrams, although not mentioned. Other things available is the old iron banner class items, such as the mantle of Piran, the Jordas iron sash, and Foul Winter's iron band. These will be available from Shiro 4. Now this is wicked. I'm just hoping with all these old class items and armors coming back into circulation, that we get plenty of extra vault space, as shit for me at the moment is almost full already. Something else they talk about is the sterling treasures. These are basically things where we get our exotic and legendary gear set skins from. And yes, if this info is new to you, we will finally be getting ways to customize weapons unlike ever before. I have made a video dedicated to this which I will link in that video description if you do want to check it out. We knew weapons such as the Infective and the Vostov were all going to have the unique skins available. But they also mentioned seeing skins for the Mirai Multitool, the Telesto and the Zelo Supercell. That's fucking epic. To be honest though I wouldn't be surprised if every exotic in the game has some kind of unique skin some way or another. Now we know Trials Armour do have these ornaments which are what's used to change the way they look, exotic and armour wise, but I do think seeing these will be quite rare. Not in the fact that not many people go flawless which is how these are obtained, but the fact that within the other loot obtainable from the chest and the point that you can only do once per week per character and I don't think them being a guaranteed drop, I do think they will be rarer than most people think. They also mentioned Bungie hinting that ornaments for raid gear will be available from the chests in the challenge mode version of the Wraith of the Machine Raid. They don't state that this will be the only place you can get them, but they do hint at that. But we're just going to have to wait and see. Something else really interesting but not exactly fresh news is they mention Skeleton Keys. Now this is a new system put in place for the Rise of Iron. This is basically a system kind of like Treasure Keys to open the chest at the end of the Prison of the Elders. But instead going to grind that prison, chests will now be available at the end of strikes with their exclusive loot. Let's take the Omnigal Strike for example. Killing that screaming bitch gives you a chest in which you can open up with this skeleton key. Inside that chest will be exclusive gear to that strike, the Grasp of Malak and the Warlock's Omnigal Bond. You can then choose which you want, obviously taking the Grasp of Malak. These chests I believe pop up within every strike with exclusive loot, but you do need a key to open the chest. But having a key when completing such strikes does not mean it has to be used there and then. You can keep your keys and use them when you please. You can hold a max of 5 keys at a single time per character. Now these keys are obtained randomly through nightfalls and strikes within the strikes playlist. This is kind of a great addition as it means you don't have to constantly grind strikes for that certain loot you want. But it does take away that grind altogether. But what do you think about this new Skeleton Key edition? Let me know down below in that comments section. Now the latest Game Informer article did speak of PvP and Trials and a few other things. But nothing really exciting or things we didn't already know about. But if you do want to read through all I will link it in that video description. Now let's move on to the loot I received across all three of my characters for the True Meaning of War weekly quest. Starting on my Warlock, I received the Red Death Exotic Pulse Rifle, but because I had low light gear on, it also dropped at a lower than useful light. Don't really matter though due to me already owning this weapon at a max light score of 335. On my Hunter, I received 18 strange coins, whoopee fucking doo doo. And on my Titan, I received the NL Shadow. Pretty shitty roll to be honest, but at least it dropped at a 335 so it can be used for infusion. But guys, that is it for another True Meaning video with the added edition of news dropped recently. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. And I will catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time.
Peace!